In this example, again, now we're just going to plug in the g of x function into f of x. So it's going to look something like this, cube root of x minus 1 cubed plus 1. And then actually, I'll do the next one anyways, just because I can. Cube root of x cubed plus 1 minus 1. I just want to make sure everybody understands the difference of f of g of x and g of f x. Does anybody have any questions on what I did from here? Because after this, it's basically just simplifying. And that's all you guys got to do. The cube root of something cubed, those are going to undo each other. So that's just going to leave me with x minus 1, x minus 1 plus 1. Well, that just leaves you with x, right? The negative 1 and positive 1 add up. Here, I can, I don't need the parentheses, but I can add or the positive and the negative. That goes to 0. So that's going to leave me with cube root of x cubed. Well, the cube root of x cubed is just x. So you guys can see how these both simplify. All right. All right, last example. I'll just